Hey dolls! So it has been a long time since I've made a video and I want to apologize for that but also at the same time I wanted to take a little bit of time off just for myself, just for my mental health and everything. So it has been a little bit of a while since you have seen my face here on this channel. But if you guys ever miss seeing me or anything, I am pretty active on uh, Instagram and Snapchat and Twitter. Usually uh, all of my info is right here and in the description box below. So feel free to follow me on those, mainly Instagram. I do also have a personal Instagram, which I'm going to start listing in the description box of my videos as well so it kind of has a little bit more personal behind the scenes in-depth stuff and I do keep that account private because it has a little bit more of a personal side to me uh, located there but if you want to follow it feel free to if you don't feel free not to uh, but you know what Yes, welcome back and, well, welcome back to me, not to you guys. You guys have been here just waiting on me. Um, today, we're doing a Forever 21 haul. You guys know that the closest Forever 21 to me is in Spokane. I live in Washington and the closest one to me is in Spokane, Washington. And I went there um, uh, this weekend to meet up with family and things like that, just personal instances and I wanted to hit up Forever 21 while I was there and I got lots of goodies. I always spend so much money and time when I go there because I only go there like once in a blue moon because it's kind of a far ways and I don't like make the trip just to go there. I just go if I happen to already be in the town or in the area. So yes let's get on into this I suppose before I do get into the forever 21 stuff though I did want to mention that my shirt I know I'm gonna get a thousand questions on it it is from box lunch spelled just like this you can get it on their website or in store uh, I had no idea that the Spokane Valley Mall uh, not only had forever 21 but they recently as far as I know they didn't have it for a while but they recently put in a box lunch and you guys know if you follow me on my personal Instagram account I've been freaking out over box lunch stuff and I finally went for the first time when I went to California Anyway, this whole video is just a mess because I'm just trying to get back into the swing of things, to be honest, but nonetheless, I went to box lunch, got this Lisa Frank shirt. These are my favorite Lisa Frank characters at the little kitties. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite Lisa Frank character is. I've always been a fan of the little kitties with like the sunflowers and then these ones. So cute, so precious. So I did get that at box lunch and then I got like a keychain or something else, but I'm not gonna get into that right now because this is a Forever 21 haul. I just knew that I was gonna get tons of questions on my shirt because I know you guys what, like Lisa Frank, most of you. So uh, yeah, let's do this. Okay, um, I'm gonna get into this little stuff first. I wanted one of these little headbands so when I do my face masks and stuff, I can put my hair up out of my face. And this one is just a pastel pink one that has a bow on it. And then you can just like put your hair up just like so. Put your hair up while you're sleeping or if you take a shower or to do your spa treatments on your face. Uh, so I got that and that was, I don't know if you guys really are interested in prices. I'll go ahead and tell you the prices on everything. Um, this was $3.90. That's just like in the checkout section, like when you're going through the checkout, they have face masks and all kinds of cute stuff there. Uh, I also needed a new eye mask because I lost the one I got from Claire's. I don't remember where it went, but it was like the panda bear one. But I saw this one and it is super adorable. This was $6.90, but it just says catnap and it's just like a cute little kitty cat face. They did have a really cute like sheep one, but it was white and I knew that it was gonna get super dirty really fast. So I just got this little gray one instead. And then I got some lint rollers. I always get lint rollers when I go there because I have cats and dogs and pets and I have pet hair and everything all over my clothes all the time. And I do work at a bakery, so pet hair on your clothes is not sanitary. We do wear little coats in the kitchen that they supply and that we have at work as like a little uniform, but still you don't want random pet debris flying around when you're working in the kitchen. So I love to have lint rollers and lint roll my clothes 
like when I get out of the car for work or before I leave and these ones are so cute they just have little panda bears on the outside and these were two dollars and ninety cents for two of them and I always stock up on them when I go to forever 21 okay and then I got some suckies I got these sets right here this is so cute it's like kawaii strawberry milk it's got like little milk cartons with little strawberries and they're just like the ankle socks these are my favorite types of socks to wear and you guys know I do have clear jelly shoes and in the summertime I love to wear adorable socks that will show through my jelly shoes so these are very precious and I love them these were a dollar ninety so under two bucks for a super cute pair of socks and then I got this uh, one two three four five pack Forever 21 is so good for pastel stuff. If you are someone who wants to start wearing pastels and you don't really know where to shop or what to look for, Forever 21 is a great option. They have lots of super cute pastel stuff, especially during the springtime. It's getting a little bit closer to that, so I feel like they're just trickling in the new supplies and products and stuff of all the pink stuff. But this was only $4.90 for a set of five socks and you get all these pastel colors there's like this little lavender color yellow there's a white set in there I love these because I love to mix and match them especially when I'm wearing my jelly sandals also I will wear say like a pink sock and a blue sock with my jelly sandals and it'll look adorable or like pink and yellow or blue and purple really all just depends on the outfit that I'm wearing and what colors I want to coordinate but they all are super cute and they're just plain but they're so pastel and they were very cheap under five bucks for five pairs of socks and i go through socks like crazy so this is awesome you can never have too many socks or underwear and then i got some pastel hair ties i got these as well as i got some scrunchies in here but i can't find them just yet so i'll show you guys in a second but again pastel just like rubber band style hair ties they're just the elastic ones they don't have any metal on them so you don't snag or pull your hair i love the ones that don't have the metal little clasp on them these were only a dollar and i'm not going to count how many there are here but a decent amount i'm going to say there's at least 15 or so probably very cute i love them i love how like pastel and cute those are because i also have to wear my hair up every day for work so I'm always going through hair ties and scrunchies and stuff so these are perfect okay I had to have these because these are perfect for work it came with four scrunchies and this was three dollars and ninety cents but I have a set of these that I got at Hot Topic that are velvet and it came with purple pink and blue but this set is just like a regular like soft fabric and there is purple pink blue and white there's a white one in there so these are adorable and again you can uh, wear different colors of them so you can wear one pink sock one blue sock and then do your hair in like space buns and do one blue and one pink of the scrunchies and just play with your look and just make it so cute you can also wear like two at a time so you can have like two colors showing at once on your little ponytail you could just do so much stuff with these little hair ties in general it's amazing so there are those and then I think one of the other cheap items I got is this beanie right here it is super soft and it's just like a pastel pink I had no idea if I was gonna end up wearing this or not but you guys I wasn't gonna complain I just bought it because literally it's a dollar it was originally almost eight dollars and it was on sale in the bin for one dollar I was like um even if I don't ever wear this it could be a Christmas present for someone next year so this is amazing I am gonna try it on real quick because I do want to see what it looks like and just get an idea for it or of it it's not bad I don't hate it I would wear it slouchy like that usually but I guess I could wear it like like that I don't know what do you guys think yay or nay okay now I think I'm going to go in and show you guys the other cheap stuff that I found uh, these leggings I don't think they were on sale but they were only three dollars and ninety cents and they are just again pastel pink this is like my favorite color to wear I don't usually wear like super bright pink colors I typically just stick to pastels whether it be um, like blues or purples or pinks like this I like to have my hair be like my standout thing because it is darker and a more rich pink whereas 
I love to have lighter pinks as my clothing and shoes and accessories and all that stuff just so my hair is kind of like the main event if you will uh, but yeah I got this pair right here that is pink they also had yellow and then tons of black ones and gray ones and like navy ones I was gonna get the yellow but I decided that I would probably wear the pink more than the yellow so I just went ahead and got two pairs of the pink because they were super cheap and I couldn't complain I could not find their $1.99 camis, their camisole shirts, their tank tops, whatever you want to call them. I couldn't find them at that location. Usually they always have like a certain area where they have them and they weren't there and they weren't anywhere throughout the store. But usually when I go to Forever 21, I like to stock up on like three to five of the like tank top undershirt camisole shirts that they usually have for like a dollar fifty or a dollar ninety nine something like that they're cheaper than walmart and they are really good quality and they hold up super well i literally have a closet full of like 20 of them <laughs> and i love them especially during the fall time or maybe if you have crop tops and you want to wear them to work but you can't because it shows your midriff and it's like not appropriate for the workplace you can always pair them with a cute similar colored or a nice coordinating color underneath of your tank tops or your crop tops so i love to have like the tank top underneath and then the crop top on top and then it's kind of like color blocking if you wanted to switch up the color and do a different color than the crop top itself so that's an idea that you guys can do as well if you wanted to wear your crop tops out and you were just a little bit self-conscious of the work environment or school or whatever it may be you can still wear your crop tops in public while still being appropriate. Now, on to uh, other cute, cheap items. These were all on sale. Uh, this shirt right here, I got it for $3. It's probably going to come off a little bit weird on camera. It's coming off a lot more pastel-y on camera, but it is kind of a brighter bubblegum pink, and this is just a kind of sheer flowy top. Did I mention how much was it originally? $10 originally, and it was $3.99 on sale. I can pair this with so many different things. This would look adorable with high-waisted jeans, shorts in the summertime, just uh, the possibilities are endless and obviously you guys know I'm a sucker for pink cutesy things so that was perfect. And the next thing we have here is this a crop long sleeve. This was originally $11 and it was on sale for $3 as well and this is more of a deeper lavender color but it is kind of like ribbed and it is long sleeves so it is a crop and it has long sleeves and again you could pair this with an undershirt of some sort and wear this to school or to work or what have you maybe not to work because it is a little bit more low cut and maybe not to school either depending on where you're going but it's really cute I liked it it'll match a lot of the stuff I have next item <laughs> this thing was also on sale and I thought this was really cool I don't know how much this was originally because the price is covered $13 originally, but it was on sale for five. You guys know me. I love pink and I love velvet. And I don't have a shirt like this and I was very intrigued by it. It is a one sleeve shirt. So this is a little bit more of a sexy piece or you could pair it, you know, with a high waisted skirt and some cute uh, platforms or something. And it could be a little bit more cutesy, but I thought this was adorable. And I think that this is more supposed to be of like a three-quarter sleeve rather than like a full length sleeve i don't know it might sit off the shoulder like this too i'm not exactly 100 percent sure but it looks like so and it is velvety and kind of like a dusty pink i love it very cute and again got a really good deal on that so can't complain too much okay then the next thing i got is this little kind of bralette crop top type thing my plan to wear this is with a bra underneath of it because I do have a fairly large chest and I want to be able to have the support underneath of this because it is so flimsy and just like a crop top basically I think it is like supposed to be a bralette but I'm gonna wear it as a crop top um and I will have a bra on under this but it is a very stretchy so I know that it'll probably fit and my plan is to either pair this with high-waisted jeans or a high-waisted skirt so there's just a little line of skin showing on the midriff area but not much at all like no belly button or anything like that but this is like a really cute look you guys know one of my favorite go-to looks is crop tops and high-waisted skirts just all the time especially during the summer not much lately because the weather has been freezing and like I said I go to work every day but 
my go-to look if I'm going out somewhere and the weather's nice or it's inside is crop tops and a high-waisted skirt or high-waisted jeans and this is so cute they had this in many different colors as well but I decided on the black one because it looks really good with my pink hair and I have lots of different skirts that would match well with this black goes with a lot of different things rather than maybe just getting one color like a like a mauve color or something that might not match everything that I have but black I can pretty much make match with everything so there is that that I thought was really cute and that was $5.90 it wasn't on sale or anything that was just original price this I saw and I had to have I don't know why I just love the ruffles right here I just love the big padded sleeves it is just so cute this is a crop top again because I'm obsessed with them they had so many crop tops this time I had to refrain from buying like every single type but it has little cherries on it and this honestly I saw this and it reminded me of my friend Angel you guys know dollhouse unboxing here on YouTube but this reminded me of her I don't know exactly why but she's really been inspiring me a lot lately with like her fashion and her own inspiration has like inspired my inspiration and we just kind of like bounce off um like our creativity and stuff with each other and this really made me think of her and it inspired me and it's so cute and Angel I totally thought of you when I saw this and it's adorable and just the little ruffly sleeves is just the cutest thing ever and again paired with high-waisted something it'll look so cute and this was $11 again not on sale but it was just kind of one of those I gotta have it type things which you know 10 11 bucks for a shirt like this still really isn't that bad of a deal plus the little ruffles are just so cute and uh, you don't see that much nowadays okay then I got this okay it's so hard to find the perfect shade of lilac clothing um, it's one thing to order things online because once you get it you realize that's not the shade it looked like online at all and it's very upsetting and I'm very picky with my purples I'm very picky I love like pinks of a huge array of pinks you guys know this but I'm very picky with my purples and it has to be a very light pastel lilac shade when it is purple and so I tend to always just buy purple things in person rather than ordering them online because they end up showing up darker or like more blue or whatever in person um, after I order them so this is actually a sleep shirt but I figured that this would be appropriate kind of all the time because it, it just says let me sleep and sometimes you just wake up and go to the grocery store and you just want to go back to bed. So you can wear your little let me sleep long sleeve. This came just by itself. It wasn't in a two-piece set or anything like some of their pajamas are. Um, this was $12.90. And this is actually a medium. I should have grabbed a small. But I kind of like the fact that it's bigger and like flowy. I don't hate that. I think it's really cute. And again, I love this purple so much because it just compliments my pink hair. I have three more items, but these were all must have items and they are all the most expensive items that I ended up getting but as soon as you guys see them you're going to understand why and you're probably going to want them for yourself if you don't have them already. So, oh my gosh. Can we just take a minute to appreciate the fact that this is pink gingham and it is so cute and so pastel and it just screams like adorableness to me. This is like kind of a windbreaker. It's not like wind, full windbreaker material, but it's close. So it is just like a thin jacket. So this will be great in the transitioning months going from winter to spring or from summer to fall when it just starts getting a little bit chilly, but you don't want to put on a parka to go to work and back. So this is adorable. I love that it has the netting on the inside. And this is a small. And the price on this was $32.90. But you guys, 30 bucks for something like this really isn't that bad in the long run. And if it's going to hold up and be good, then it's kind of worth it. Because this will fit me for a long time. And... I don't know it's so hard to find cutesy gingham stuff like this in stores a lot of the times you have to buy them online if you're someone who is into like the Japanese street fashion and kawaii inspired stuff 
um, pink gingham or just gingham print in general is usually like a really good go-to if you're just starting out and it's a little bit more common but I hadn't seen that like in person lately so seeing this in person I had to get it it was so cute and it's not it's not as noisy as a windbreaker. You know how windbreaker material is like super loud and annoying um, and you don't like wearing them in public or like to school and stuff because it's just so loud? This one isn't near as loud as a windbreaker. So that's another reason I wanted it. It, was, it wasn't so loud and obnoxious, if you know what I mean, as far as the actual like material goes, not like the look of it. Now, my favorite, favorite, favorite two items that I got I saw this on their website a couple months back and I completely and totally forgot about it. Like I was waiting and waiting and waiting until they had like an online sale or something and this went on sale, but it never did as far as I knew it didn't for a while. And I saw it when I was in the store and I ran over and I grabbed it. I didn't care if I had to pay a full price for it at that point. I had already grabbed all this other stuff and I was like, whatever, I'm in it to win it. So this was $22, which is cheaper than the windbreaker. But you guys, ah! it's pink, of course, and it's a Bambi sweatshirt, and it's got flower and thumper on there, just one of the classic scenes from the movie, and it's just so perfect, and I'm obsessed with it so much, and I never want to, I haven't even t put it on yet, but I never want to take this off, like I... I just, mm, I just want to cuddle this forever and ever and ever and ever. It's just beautiful and it's so good. And I'm so happy I found this and it's just so like adorable and just so aesthetic to me. And it's pink and it's everything that I love. Just Bambi and Disney and pink and long sleeve comfy and just, <sighs> it's beautiful. And I highly, highly recommend it to anybody and everybody. I just, I love it so much. Then the last thing... It was the last thing that I saw when I was in the store that I had to have. And this was... Um, I took the price tag off. I think it was 35 It was either $35 or $39, I think. I could be completely mistaken. But I did take the, take the tags off of this already because when I was on the car ride home, I wanted to take my pins that I got from Box Lunch. I told you guys I got a couple pins and keychains and stuff when I went to Box Lunch. And I got this set of all three of the Aristocat kittens. So there's Toulouse, Berlioz, and Marie on there. And I went ahead and just attached these to the jacket while I was in the car on during the ride home in the car to keep me kind of busy. I just like, oh, let's let's attach these. That's cute. And then while I was in the process of that, I ripped the tags off and then I tossed them in the garbage when I got home and forgot to tell you what the price was. But you guys, look at this pastel pink denim jacket. <sighs> now, I will say something. This runs a little big. So, I'm not sure if they have it online, but if you are buying online, size down probably one if you want it to be a little bit more of a tighter fit. Not like snug, like you're gonna like cut off circulation or something like that, but it's kind of baggy on me. I'll just show you guys. I am usually a size small. In most all of the stuff I got a small except this sleep shirt. I'll show you guys. It's a little bit big on me. Oops, this sleeve is rolled up too. What the heck? So, as you guys can see, here are my fingers hanging out the side right there. Usually, okay, so if I go forward, I have like all this little extra space here. Usually when you go forward, it comes up a little bit like that. And when you have your hands at your sides, like my hands are like sticking out of it. So I do wish they had an extra small in this, but it is so good. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys this one, even if I don't do a try on, because it's just so good. Just like, just kind of like slouchy even, like that, if you're into that kind of style, or even buttoned up, even buttoned up, like it's really big. Like there's a lot of room in it. So I don't necessarily love the fit of it, but I love it. So I had to have it and it's just so cute. And you can see I put my little pins on here. Um, I'm probably, I'm going to uh, change the backs of these. I just have like the standard backs on them right now just because I wanted to place them properly. But I am going to be putting locking backs on my pins so that they don't come off and stuff. 
um, while I have my shirt on. But these ones kind of rotate a little bit. They're kind of loose and rotate. So I'm going to try my locking backs on my pins and see if that'll help secure them a little bit more so they're not just flailing around everywhere and doing cartwheels. But if not, I might switch out different pins like some of my Disney ones or something and put these on my pin board because um, you can see they just kind of like do somersaults and stuff and I don't necessarily want that on my jacket but I thought that was a really cute idea to just kind of have like all the little Aristocats right there just like on on the on the little piece right there and I could also put pins on the collar like right here um I just didn't want to do that because like my hair would hide them and you wouldn't be able to see them as cutely or as much or as well but yeah I'm I love this jacket. I think it's so fun. And again, this is a really good season transition jacket because it is just a denim jacket. So it's not like insulated or lined or anything like that. It's just kind of just fun and just casual and you can pretty much wear it with whatever and it'll just look super cute. So that is everything from my Forever 21 haul. And I'm going to go ahead and end this now because this video is crazy long. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what your favorite item was that I showed in the comment section down below. And yeah, let me know also if you have any of these items. And with that, I'm going to let you guys go. And hopefully, hopefully, maybe, fingers crossed, I will talk to you a little bit sooner next time. And I'm sorry I just kind of left without letting you guys know what was going on. But rest assured, I'm okay. Um... My mom's okay, my fiance's okay, there was no like dire emergency, there's no like super significant reason that I was gone other than I just wanted a little bit of a break and to just give myself a little bit of a break and kind of focus on my work and then I can get back into this. But uh, yeah, I don't know. With that, I'm going to let you guys go. Again, I hope you all enjoyed this and I will talk to you all next time. So, until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. Alright, bye! Oh, and real quick, if you guys are like a true watcher of my videos, you've made it this far, I just wanted to give you a little, a little tiny insight here. I contacted my tattoo artist that I got my Marie tattoo on my thigh done. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'll leave links to the videos on the screen. But... I contacted her and she's going to be actually doing another tattoo or two for me within this year sometime, probably within the next couple to few months. I am not going back down to California just yet. Hopefully she will be able to fly up here. I have a tattoo design reserved and I actually have two tattoo designs re reserved, but uh, I put a deposit 100% like I, I I put a deposit on one of them and I'm for sure going to get it eventually this year sometime so I just want to let you guys know just so you guys like have this cool little insight if you made it this far into the video I'm really excited about it and leave me your guesses to what it is in the comment section down below I'll give you one hint that it is going to be Disney themed and it will be on the opposite thigh of my Marie one. And it will be kind of the same color scheme so it can match. But I'm not going to tell you guys what characters or anything like that. I'm just going to let you guys guess in the comment section down below. Because you guys know what my favorites are. And I did talk about wanting to get another one on the other thigh. And once I saw this design that she had made, I was like, oh my gosh, I need that one. I need it so bad. So uh, yeah, I just want to let you guys know that. Okay, now I'm actually going to let you guys go. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time, whenever that may be. Okay, bye!